Washington now in the latest on the congressional investigation into the January 6th insurrection. As it enters a critical phase, a federal judge has concluded that it's likely former President Trump committed crimes by trying to block the congressional count of electoral votes on January 6th. Rachel Scott is on Capitol Hill with the story. Good morning, Rachel. George, good morning. And those words, the most definitive yet from a federal judge saying it's more likely than not that Donald Trump broke the law. The ruling does mark a breakthrough for the January 6th Select Committee, now backing contempt charges for two aides of the former president. Overnight, the House Committee investigating the January 6th insurrection, making the case against two former Trump aides. Stop the steal! Stop the steal! Recommending Peter Navarro and Dan Scavino be held in contempt of Congress for refusing to cooperate after claiming executive privilege. They potentially played a part in an attack on American democracy, but they can ignore our investigation because they worked for the government at the time. That's their argument. They're not fooling anybody. The unanimous decision now sets the stage for the full House to vote on whether to refer both aides to the Justice Department for prosecution. Without enforcement of its lawful process, Congress ceases to be a co-equal branch of government. It comes as lawmakers saying they are reaching a critical phase of the investigation. We've now taken the testimony of hundreds of witnesses with knowledge of the events of January 6th. A California judge siding with the committee, forcing attorney John Eastman to turn over more than 100 documents he has been withholding. And in the most decisive ruling yet, Judge David Carter declaring it is more likely than not that President Trump broke the law on January 6th, calling the former president's attempt to stop the certification of the election a coup in search of legal theory, adding the illegality of the plan was obvious. And there is growing pressure this morning on the Department of Justice to act. Members of the committee calling out the attorney general, who has not yet announced whether or not he will pursue criminal charges against Mark Meadows, Trump's former chief of staff, after he was held in contempt of Congress. One member saying it's time for the Department of Justice to do its job. Robin. Rachel, thank you for your reporting. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.